Welcome to lesson 84 of A Course in Miracles. Revision time. <laughs> We're still going through revision time. And this is, okay, with this revision time, can I get this, can I get to see myself clearer? More than anything else. Can I see myself where I, where I am really at? <laughs> And it's really interesting because we have this expectation that, you know, we are at a certain level. And then, the, then, then reality hits when we are relating to others, when we are going through an illness, when we are challenged, you know. And this time is for truth. This time of evolution in the planet, human evolution the evolution of consciousness wow it's for us to own our truth and owning our truth not only means owning our power but owning where we truly are in this journey towards claiming back our power and this lesson 84 is about love it's i am love because God, which is love and light, has created me. And I am the same. I am a part of God. I am God in a very small version. Because I hold all the qualities of God. I hold all the qualities of light because I am a spark of this universal light. And this is the same thing with love. But where does love, where do I find love within myself? And this is the thing. Ah, if I'm stressed, well, I'm not feeling love. If I'm anxious, I'm not feeling love. If I'm angry, well, then I'm not feeling love. If I'm scared, I'm not feeling love. If I'm judging, if I'm criticizing, if I'm jealous, if I'm envious you know if I'm feeling any of those very strong feelings I am not sitting in love can I be a, an observer of all those things that I'm going through and can I observe from a place of love? And this is this might be a very compassionate way of helping us go through through more transition. I am not where I would like to be because I lose the plot, or because I'm sick, or because I'm jealous, or because I get angry, or blah 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 blah. But I am observing myself. And I might not be able to hold myself yet. I might not be able to stop myself from reacting yet. I might not be able to shift my illness yet, but I'm seeing and observing myself with humility, with truth and with compassion. And the more compassion I feel for myself and this journey that I'm going through, the, the more support I, I'm giving myself to shift and to grow in awareness. So it's a very, a very delicate uh, transition. And, um, and it's like, I don't know, it just comes to me at the moment, like imagine a big pond and you know those little like little rocks all in the pond and you know when even in the cartoons when you see jumping <laughs> from one place to the other sometimes this is where we are at you know we this is the huge pond of of, of this huge ocean of wisdom love and light and we are in it but we're still jumping from one rock to the other you know trying to somehow jump into this deep beautiful ocean of light and love 
Um, so once again, the key is, where is love within myself? And if I cannot see it outside, or I'm expecting it from outside, it's because within my belief system or my thoughts, there is something that is blocking it. And all I can do is look within and keep seeing, keep removing these beliefs and thoughts and layers of suffering that are blocking me and, and separating me from my truth, my peace and love. So compassion, compassion, compassion for ourselves today. Love holds no grievances. This is not justification for denying myself. I will not use this to attack love. Let this love, this not tempt me to attack myself. So let this, let not, let this grievance that I'm feeling or this anger or this judgment or this jealousy or whatever that I'm feeling be an excuse for me to connect to love. May I recognize it and surrender it to God. And this is where we go, God, I surrender this grievance. I surrender this sadness. I surrender this fear. I surrender this control. I surrender it to you. And please may this be replaced with your love. May this be replaced with your love. May all this suffering and this illusion be replaced with your love. May my mind be a part of your mind. May my thoughts be clear. May my emotions be healed. And may I see myself and others through your eyes, Father. May love be within me and within my relationships with others. May love be real within myself. May love be true within myself. And I call upon love now. And just breathe and just know that we do have that power. We do have that power to recognize where we are at, whether we are out of sword, out of love, in suffering and connect back to love because it's a moment by moment choice. And yes, in that choice, that's where we find our power. So enjoy lesson 84 and I'll see you tomorrow for lesson 85.